The prison's art program started in Carrera and now has a total of eight inmates involved, some of whom are serving life sentences. Wilson says it is imperative that authorities take a holistic view of the penal reform system. The, the, the thing about rehabilitation, you reach a pinnacle and then you start to decline. Because you ask yourself, I am doing all this, I, I have changed, I, I have changed my life around and I want an opportunity to get back out. But if we don't have things, if, if we don't have things like parole, then what happens? He says the change in the mindsets and general behavior of those who participate in the program is evident enough of its success. I am certain if you look around this mall, you will know who are the artists. You, you will know because some of them, they have on suits like this guy, he's wearing a suit you will, behind you there. You will know he's an enemy. And you have a few of them in suits and ties. You will know that. And we don't, even though they're not shackled. Mr. Wilson believes that all inmates should be exposed to the opportunities for reformation and rehabilitation. However, he admits that not all inmates are receptive to these programs. Other inmates, he noted, relish the opportunity to change and long for the day they would be free and able to make a positive contribution to society. One such individual is Aladdin Mohammed, who has been incarcerated at Carrera since 1996. He is currently serving a life sentence for murder. I personally feel a great sense of um, accomplishment uh, as a teacher, as a, a student of God, as a, as a disciple of God, um, in that we believe that the greatest good one could do is service to man. And through the prisons, we have been um, you know, showing society that the taxes they pay go towards our reformation. Prior to his incarceration, Mr. Muhammad worked as a professional artist. He says experiences in prison forced him to acknowledge and accept his dependency on God. After 20 years locked away with only guards and fellow inmates for company, Aladdin says the time spent at the mall displaying his artwork was a welcome reprieve. Though brief, he says he enjoyed the opportunity to mingle with persons outside the confines of the prison walls. It is always good to have the public who are like investors in our reformation, you know, come and show appreciation for the works and that kind of thing so that they know that not all the stories they hear about prison and, you know, violent officers and uh, corrupt inmates and we are monsters and that kind of thing. It's not entirely true. Maybe at one time we have represented a negative faction of society. Maybe at one time we have been monsters, but we are reformed now. Right? We are reformed and stand ready to contribute to society in any way that we can. His name was submitted for presidential pardon four years ago, but that fell through. He is hoping for a favorable response when he applies again. If granted his freedom, he plans to dedicate his life to the rehabilitation of prisoners and mentoring at-risk youth. Dion Batiste, CNews.